the life of the planets is interrelated and all are related to the Earth. Those words were spoken by the world-renowned marine biologist and environmentalist Rachel Carson. Though it's been over 50 years since her passing, this National Wildlife Refuge in Wells is named in her memory. Just this refuge here is a huge testament to her, um, the blood, sweat and tears. Carson was inspired by the main coast and summered in the mid coast where she studied the tides and would eventually champion other environmental causes throughout her life. She was a great influence. Um, she wrote uh, Silent Spring which was a pivotal book for her time, um, talked a lot about pesticides and their dangers. Five years after her death, what was originally known as the Coastal Maine National Wildlife Refuge was renamed in her honor, spanning 50 miles of coastline, ranging from Kittery to Cape Elizabeth. We've always focused on making sure that our, so this is a pretty good view of our, our salt marsh, and we try to protect uh, migratory bird species that come in and they nest and they um, use these areas that are, that are just full of, of life and so they can feed, they can um, nest and then they, they go back home. Those at the refuge say their main objective is to manage the land for its waterfowl, migratory birds and wide range of wildlife over its 5,600 acres. So what is it like to manage all this? Uh, it's a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. a lot of outside. Um, we plant a lot of native species, um, especially habitat for the New England cottontail. One of its most popular attractions is its one-mile walking trail, named, appropriately enough, the Rachel Carson Trail, which welcomes everyone from snowshoers to four-legged friends. This is your favorite lookout here. Definitely. Yep. Why is that? The view? <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Self-explanatory. Yeah. But it's so. a really good location to see um, any wading birds or any other kind of um, birds that use a salt marsh. Mm -hmm. And during the summer, it's full of life, so mm. it's, it's definitely a treat. One of its most recent projects is tracking Brunswick, the snowy owl. She was found at the Brunswick airport, um, and she was picked up there. And uh, the Biodiversity Research Institute uh, put a tracker on her. And they brought her down here. This year, the refuge is celebrating its 50th anniversary, where they continue to celebrate the life's work of Rachel Carson for generations to come. We're part of something that not a lot of people can say they are. And for us younger students to be involved in this is definitely a treat.